Welcome back tribe. Welcome to your total body hit workout. My name is Leah and it's such an honor to have you guys back with me. I'm really excited for this workout. It's going to be kind of a it's going to be a good one. It's just to, just to start that out. So we're going to begin on our mat behind our terracore. If you don't have a mat, you're just on carpet or grass, whatever you got. That works too. Just behind our terracore. We'll come down to our knees, toes out, toes together and knees out wide. Coming back, sits bones to our heels, bring our hands forward. This is a terracore child's pose. So allow your palms to rest on your terracore. You can even bring your wrists down. Gently guide your forehead down to your mat. Relax your shoulders, breathing in and exhale, sigh it out. Just allow this expansive stretch through your shoulders, up through your biceps. You can spread your fingertips wide, really gripping your terracore by pressing each fingertip into your mat, into your terracore, the bubble on top. If you can, gently let your forehead meet your mat. Softly rock your head side to side. Beautiful. Let's just take a big inhale together as a community. Exhale, sigh it out, wherever your day was, wherever your thoughts have been. Let's just take a pause on all that. Just showing up for this quick little workout together, letting all that other stuff just fade away. Just becoming present together, right here, right now. Two more settling breaths. And exhale, let it go. Notice your body relaxing, your mind relaxing. Last breath, breathing in. And exhale, gaze up towards your fingertips. Now listen carefully, press your weight into your palms. Start to lift your hips and then guiding your weight forward, teeter-totter, keeping your knees diving into your mat. This is a modified King Cobra. So send your hips forward, lift your chest. So you're almost just like opening up your heart, toes upward. Exhale, take it back, child's pose. We'll do that two more times. Your breathe in rises up. Press your hips forward, nice opener, low back release. Send it back. I got a little low back pop on that one up coming up. Press your hips forward. Last one, take it back. Beautiful. Press it all the way up, tabletop your knees. Bring your knees together. Left knee stays center, left hand stays center. Sweep yourself open over to the right so your right hand is up. Use your terracore as support. You can come down to your elbow, reaching extended modified side plank. Reach your fingertip and toe in the opposite direction. As you exhale, capture your right ankle with your right hand. Quad stretch, so bringing your heel towards your glute. Just breathing into this. So today we're doing the HIIT workout, like I said. It's going to be 30 seconds on, 10 second rest between, and we have three sets of those. So it's gonna be quick, we're gonna have fun. I want you guys to go all out. So let's give a nice warm up before we get into this. So bringing our heel towards our glute, just a little bit more. Breathe, relax, and extend. Leg comes out. Bring your right hand back down to our terracore. Toes come back together. Send it back to our child's pose legs. We'll bring it to child's pose push-ups. So take it back. Let's come forward like we did the King Cobra, but we're gonna come down, tap our chest. Chest to terracore, press it up, all the way back. Five of those, bring it up, tap. We have four more, all the way down. Send it back. Now make sure your elbows are shining out like little airplane wings behind you. Like you're creating these little airplane wings. I want you to create that. That's a proper push up, come down. Press it back for two, all the way back. And one, stretch it out, let your head hang. Beautiful, now this time, right hand down, right knee down, open up. You're in your side stretch. Coming down to your forearm, modified side plank. Again, capture your left heat calf or left ankle this time. We're going for a quad stretch. So again, just enjoying the slower section of this warm up before we get going. Extend your leg. Walk your hands back together, toes touch, knees out wide. Again, child's pose, push-ups. Bring our hands down, center hips back. Bring it forward, tap our chest, send it back. Four more, three, really coming all the way down. Two, and one, tap, press it all the way back. Beautiful, sending it up tabletop, curl your toes, downward facing dog. 
with our terror core. So palms spread equally wide, shoulder width distance apart, feet hip width distance apart. Beautiful. Let your chest fall towards your thighs. Now I love this terror core using this with some yoga poses because it really acts something a little different. It allows you to get to some spaces you normally couldn't get to. So we're allowing our chest just to fall towards our knees. If you need, you can bend your knees to really create a V from, from your hip socket downward. Beautiful. All right. Send it high. Walk your toes back, high plank. Make sure your shoulders are in line with your palms. Now listen carefully. We're going opposite shoulder tap. We're adding opposite leg lift. Now you have options here. You can just go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, plank, or you can go a little leveled up with a shoulder tap, opposite leg lift. Bring it down, opposite shoulder tap, plank. Beautiful. Let's go into that five more times. So it's tap, 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 tap. You can do a level one where you just tap your shoulders. Level two is lift your leg. Now this is your practice, so show up as you are. Let's go for those last two. And one, beautiful. Send it back down dog. Walk your feet a little bit closer towards your terror core. Hands come a little bit wider to those little ball sections. Trap push-ups. So gaze back, crown of your head slides like it's on a track. Tap your head to the ball, the top, press it away. Bring it down, tap it away. These are trap push-ups. I really want you to create this long line from crown of head down. Press it away. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Come down, hands meet, walk it back, plank. All right, from the front, stay where you're at. High plank, walk it down. Elbows cross, we're going into this cross tricep extension. So right palm meets right elbow, left palm meets left elbow. Ready, stack your shoulders in line with your elbows, press into your palms, cross, you're creating an X. Bring it down, you have five, bring it up. Four, now you can be on your knees or toes from the side for three, two, and one. All right, now we have to go to the other side. So right hand comes to the other, to the back side of your left, okay? Now, again, if you're on your knees, make sure your hips are down, not up. If you're on your toes, nice and strong, bring it up five, four, three, two. Last one, beautiful. Send it back, stretch it out. Rising back up, that was our little warm up. Let's go. Bringing our mats back adjusting ourselves. We're getting into our hit series. So we'll use a band. So make sure you have your band with you. So if you need to grab that, go grab that now. We're getting into this little 30 second on, 10 second off. I'm gonna get my timer. So we're on. First part of this series, we'll use our TerraCore band. So climb into it, however you get into it. All right. Now these are always options. You guys can do these off the terror court or on, but I'd love to see you challenge yourself. So these first ones are just squat in and out. So we're here, it's out, in. That's the first exercise. Don't go there yet, I'm just demoing through, okay? So we have four exercises. That's the first one. It's out and in, okay? Second exercise will be the plank jack in and out. So I'll demo from the side. So it's a plank, so you go out, jack, in, in and out. Make sure your band's staying tight the whole time. So it's out, jack wide, bring it in, in and out. Boom, 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 boom. That's the first one. Make sure you have a tight enough band. And then 180 jumps. Now this one can get challenging. So I want you either to do it on your terror core if you have the balance. It'll be, create this tension within your band. It'll be 180 jumps. 180 jumps. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with that, come off your mat, do it on the floor. Third one will be the plank jumps wide. So we're, again, our terracore, we're keeping resistance here. Take it wide. So it'll be plank jump, boom. Take it wide, bring it wide up. So it's wide, plant your hands, come up wide, okay? 
So let's begin our squat in and outs in 10 seconds. Finding your mat, getting yourself adjusted. We're here in five, four, three, two, one. It's out and in for 30 seconds. You guys got it. I want you low. None of that high stuff. Come on, take it low. It's out and in. Really use your glute med, your outer glute. Pull it out and in. Use your inner thigh. You're peeling it open. You guys know those like hip dips on the side. This is really getting those. We have 10 more seconds. Out and in. If you want to add some arms, that'll help increase your cardio. Woo! I paused there. It's okay. Last two and one. We're gonna take a break for 10, three, two, and one. Whew. Uh oh, I gotta reset this timer. <sighs> Shoot. Okay, so you'll cut, cut at the beginning of the hit, okay? So, Basically, I gotta fix this. One set. We're going four times. Okay. All right, so imagine we just started at the very beginning of it, okay, of the hit. So we're gonna start our hit in 10 seconds. So everybody get everything you need, get yourself situated. Top of our mat in five, we have four, three, two, one. We're here for 30 seconds, out, in, out, in. If you wanna add some arms, you can, out, in. Get lower, send your hips back. You guys can do it. It's in and out. If you gotta go slower, you can, but we're gonna get in the cardio. So I want you guys to challenge yourself. Out and in, use your glutes to pull your legs open. Your abductors are activated. Pulling your knees out for three, two, and one. 10 second rest. We're moving into those plank jacks, in and out. So you guys stay there. I just adjusted that. We're there, three, two, one. It's out, in, bring it all the way in. Out, in, 30 seconds. Keep your shoulders over your palms, flat back, creating a beautiful plank with your spine. It's out, in, 10 more seconds. You guys have it, use your breath. Core is engaged. Imagine that cough. <coughs> That activates your core. Imagine taking that cough. Last two, one to the top. 10 second rest, we have our 180s. So if you guys are feeling daring, hop on top. Three, two, one, let's go. 180s for 30 seconds. So these can be controlled and slow or fast, but I want you guys to stay strong. There's a lot of control happening, stabilizing yourself. A lot of energy output to keep yourself stable and strong. Five more seconds. And again, you can always be off your mat. And one. 10 second pause. Big inhales. Exhale. Keep your heart, your head above your heart. Two and one. Now we go plank jumps wide. So it's out all the way to the top. Pop it up. Plank jump. Wide plank, all the way up. So in your wide plank, your feet are wide, coming wide, top of our mat, all the way up. You take it down wide, all the way up. I was just doubling there. You're still on your terror core. And one. 20 second rest. And then we're getting right back from the beginning of that. Okay. So, grab your drink if you need. You can even start to level up 
in your Terracor um, band if you want. Make it a little harder, a little challenging. Here we are, out and in, get low. Out and add some arms if you want it. Core is engaged, yes. 15, we have 13, stay level. Ah, if you find balance, that wobble, get back into it. It should be challenging and it also should be a little bit fun. Like your kid jumping on the tramp. Oh, you could do it for hours, remember? Okay, we have our plank in and out. So I'm gonna move my terracotta, you guys stay there. Just that in and out. In and out, let's go. Bring it in. Bring it in. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second pause. Beautiful. And remember, we're going right into that 180s in five, four, three, two, and one. So meet me at the top. You're going into your 180s. Start it out. In three, two, and one. Start it out, let's go 180s. It's up, twist, oh my goodness. Try to find your balance. Again, you can always do it on the ground. Really get into it. Just a 180 jump, 180 jump. You guys got it. Two and one. Hop off 10 second break. We have our plank jumps. They're wide. So remember, take it wide leg, then wide squat jump. Let's go. 30 seconds on. Wide plank, wide squat jump. Wide plank. Exhale lift. Inhale comes down. Exhale lift. Inhale comes down. Make sure you don't have stuff in the way. We're here for eight, seven, five, and one. Take your 20 second pause. Twenty second pause. Breathing in and out. We're going one more time through this, okay? You have this. In five, four, three, two, and one. We're right back up. It's our in and out. And again, from the side, just out and in. You notice how I'm low in my squat. Out and in option, you can add your arms. We're here for 15 more seconds. Out, in. You guys got it. Out and in. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second break. You know what it is. It's the plank jump. The plank jack, rather. The in and out. In three, two, one. Get into your plank. Beautiful. 30 seconds. It's out, plank jack, bring it in. Keep going. You're bringing it in, you're usually using your core to bring your knees in. Out, and keep going. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. You're in your 10 second pause. Take a breath. <sighs> Moving into our 180s. Ready, prepare in four, three, two, one. 180, bring it around and around. Keep going. You guys got it. <sighs> 20 more seconds. 
here for 10 more seconds. It's a round. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, hop it off, you have 10 second break. And then we're getting into our plank jump wide, okay? So it's that wide jack, let's go. Three, two, one, take it wide, up 30 seconds. Come on, a little bit more vinegar, a little bit more you guys, 13. Really keep your plank strong with integrity. It's that wide, wide, take it out, wide jack. Woo. All right, you guys, we are done with that hit. So go ahead, keep your band with you. We're moving down to some bridge lifts. So grab a drink, towel off if you need. Woo. Getting into our bridge lift, single leg. All right, so. Coming back, using our terror core as our support for our legs. Come to your back. Left heel drives into our mat. Right leg is extended, all right? So we're going to single leg bridge lift. So adjust yourself so that you, when you come up, you're a nice 90 degree bend in your left leg, okay? So, Right heel leg comes up towards the sky. Stamp the sole of your right foot up. Press your hips high. Bring it down. Leg extension. Tap your terror core with your left, right leg. Again, bring it up. Hips up. Bring it down. Extend. Tap. Leg up. Bring it down. Tap. Press it up. Tap. Driving your hips high. Relax your glutes, but really drive into your left heel. Your quad will activate. Last four, you have three. Really lift your hips for two and one. Press it up, stay up. Let's just do a little pulse at the top. 10, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, other side. Right leg comes into your mat. Left leg extends, bring it up. We'll bring it up, hip lift, single leg. In three, two, one, bring it up, bring it down. Left leg extends forward, tap the terracor. Bring it up, press low. <sighs> Breathe, exhale, lift, inhale comes down. Exhale, lift. inhale down, you have five more. Three, two, and one. Stay up, let's pulse. 10, nine, really get your hips higher, higher. Press into your heel, three, two, and one. Bring it down, hips down. Beautiful. This next part is just a, an abductor exercise so we can get rid of our band. Bringing your left elbow to your terracore. Left leg extends, right heel into your mat. So you're kind of just, you're just chilling, okay? Now, listen carefully. Left, right hand taps the inside arch of our left leg. Lift and lower, okay? Drive into our left elbow. So we have 10. Let's start in three, two, one. Tap for 10, nine, six. Really lift your heel up towards the sky. Four, three. Try to get your leg higher than your hand, hand coming down. Two and one, stay here. Now press into your right heel, lift your hips. Use your elbow as your base. We have 10 lifted. Nine, eight, yeah, six, five, three, two, and one. Bring it down. All right, we gotta go to the other side. So you guys can just flip directions. I'll flip on the other side so you can see me. And we'll set that up on the other side. Okay, so you all flip directions. We're here, elbow down. Right leg extends this time, left heel down. Left hand, right ankle, tap. Bring it up for 10, nine. Really try to get your heel higher than your hand has to come down to it. 
The goal is to get your leg up rather than your hand down. Four, three, two, exhale, and one. Send it up. We have 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to your forearms. We're your right forearm. Okay, so option to hover your leg modified side plank, or you can come down to support yourself on your right leg. Try to challenge yourself here. So it's an oblique tap, so left hand behind head, left elbow taps, right hand tap, open, stay here. Extend your left hand overhead, lift your left toe, tap. That's the combo. So it's oblique tap, extend tap. Got it? Oblique, boom. Let's go five more. Four. And again, if you need to come down to your bottom leg, you can. Two. And one. Okay, rotate over to the other side. So now you're facing the other way. Left hand is your base. Obliques right into it. And three, I'm gonna get with you guys there in two and one. Elbow taps, extend, tap other side. Really exaggerate elbow to palm. Five more. Three, two, last one, and one. Coming back to our elbows, drop your knees, toes touch, knees come out wide. Take it into our child's pose. Wow, we are finished. Thank you so much for showing up today to this HIIT workout. Breathe in, look up, come up towards your knees. Left knee is your base, right leg extends, side body stretch. Take it down to your elbow like we did in the beginning. We'll stretch out our quad, breathe. Just reflecting how you feel now compared to the beginning of your practice. A lot of endorphins flowing, a lot of stuff moving. So emotions or energy releases. Extend, bring it down. Let's go to the other side. Right leg comes down, extend. Grab your ankle, pull it in. <sighs> Breathe. Extend, coming down. Beautiful. Lowering to the mat or the ground. <sighs> right ankle comes on top of your left. So we're just moving into a seated figure four. Just let your hips shake out. Right knee guides open. You can even use your hand to press it open wider. Wow, that was an amazing hit workout, you guys. Again, I have more to come. I'm so excited to share these fitness workouts with you guys. Shake it out and extend. Let's go to the other leg. As always, it's been a pleasure. My name is Leah. Please feel free to reach out and chat with me via social media or any other platform. This is what I live for. I live for community connection. And so not only are we just working out virtually, I'd love to get to know you a little bit more. So leave comments and all that. I'll see you guys next time. Any other movements or stretches you wanna take, go ahead and feel free to take those now. As always, I'll see you guys next time.